Good afternoon YouTubers. Now since I always muck about on these things and uh, behave like a child, well, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I started already. I'm not going to do that today. This is a very quick walkthrough on the solar power shed. And of course, as you can see there, there are solar panels. So let's walk through. Four solar panels here, just on a basic lean-to. Nothing fancy. They're 80 watt panels. So the four of them together makes a hundred and that's 320 watts combined and they're simply combined together pluses to pluses minuses to minuses chained together through these little power injectors and all of the juice from those panels will flow down these wires which I've draped on the floor don't worry about it I know where they are and they lead in through that little hole into the shed so there's the power coming into the shed you can't just use that power immediately you've got to convert it and this little boy here is a charge controller and he's got some different displays which will cycle through now the sun's gone in typical so there we are it's saying sun's shining happy face 100% on the battery bank currently floating at 13.4 typical sun's got just gone in it was 14 volts a minute ago you'll see it go up and down the standard charging 13 14 volts 5.1 amps from the sun at the moment coming through the controller and into the battery bank just give it another press 1.3 amps going to the battery to keep them nice and topped up 3.3 amps going to the load and the load is the inverter that turns it into 240 volts and the laptop and speakers that are on at the moment probably hear them in the background the batteries tucked away down in here three pretty hefty leisure batteries and they are 125 amp hours each so 375 amp hours stored in there and I'm storing at 12 volts you obviously guess that from the voltage on that meter and this system can be 12 volts or 24 volts reconfigured and I will be upgrading it to or changing it. it's not an upgrade it's I'm just changing it to 24 volt system and this is all compatible with 24 volts so three batteries in there and they'll last people say how long will it last well depends how much you use so from the batteries so electricity is coming in through the charge controller to the batteries from the batteries we then come to this bad boy here and that's called an inverter and that fella there is going to convert the 12 volt direct current DC from the batteries into 240 volts AC and this job is a pure sine wave inverter and really what that means is it will work with sensitive equipment There's much cheaper versions out there uh, modified sine wave etc and they tend to harm things like laptops and mobile phone chargers, very, very sensitive. So you, you, with a basic inverter, you could plug a drill in, um, etc., and it wouldn't care at all. It's just a motor. But um, your laptops, your mobile phone chargers, your um, high-voltage or your, your charge-up screwdriver and drill and those sorts of things, they're all very, very sensitive. Um, and this little gizmo here is a bit of fun. This is an amp meter that induces itself through those bad boys, <laughs> the rather muddy bad boys there. It's, it was my father, so that's going to be around about 50 years old, this thing. So over here, no deflection, move it over the bad boy, whack, okay? A lot of uh, electromagnetic field going on under there. And I've built those little cookies there into the um, into this old bench with my John Smiths uh, warming up nicely. Uh, I've built all of that into this the, the sideboard bench because that's the kind of guy I am coming out from our five gang six gang six plug socket doodah there it's not surge protected because the um you have a skin flint and that one fitted but everything else is surge protected off the inverter and it plays little messages to you when you uh when you're in trouble but at the moment we're not in trouble at all we've got 100 percent on the battery bank we're actually using less than we're making at the moment so we're beyond stasis and of course laptop with complete with fear porn, what we are, oh, the Banehar Elohim, the Nephilim, my favourite. 
good old Arcoms and coming out with some speakers in the solar power shed. So that's it in a nutshell. Solar panels to controller to batteries to inverter and off you go. Simple. And I didn't even muck about.